Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. We've had a request to go over booleans. I thought I would do that. And you can find booleans in the polygons uh, menu. Now there are NURBS booleans as well, but we're going to go over polygon booleans today. So the polygons, and then under mesh booleans, and we have three options here. Union, difference, and intersection. We'll just break this menu off. Now what these do is it takes two or more uh, polygon options and you can boolean them together. Now the, boole the word boolean is kind of a programming term, sort of. It, it means that something has two states, on or off, essentially. It's like ones and zeros. So a boolean operation means that it's either on or off. And with using booleans in modeling, we're going to get kind of a you're kind of assigning ones and zeros to different objects to create new objects, if that makes sense. And I'll kind of and I'll demonstrate, it, of course. First one is union. If you look in the options, we'll see preserve color, edit reset, and by default it's not checked. The options for each of these boolean operations is the same. It just has this preserve color box. If I click on any of these options, it just brings up the boolean operation options box. So it's the same options for all three. So preserve color, we'll get to that in a minute. So union, difference, and intersection. First I'll just create a polygon cube and a polygon sphere. So you need at least two objects and I think it actually depending on, I think uh, it only works on two objects at a time. So if I intersect my sphere into my cube, like so, I'll just use this configuration for all three Boolean operations and you can see what happens. Oh, Also, if I go into the options here, I am running an older version of Maya. I don't have Maya 2015 yet. I'm hoping to get it soon. In 2015, they've changed the algorithm for how Booleans work and they'll give you the option to use the old algorithm if you prefer it which is I'm using the old algorithm now since I have an older version of mine. So just keep that in mind. So your your results might vary from mine if you're using the latest version of Maya and their algorithm has a lot different results than the old one. So just keep that in mind for the options you have that extra one in if you have the latest version. So before I do the operation I want to just turn on my uh, wireframe on shaded view just so you can take a look here and you see here that how this edge of the sphere doesn't quite line up with the cube so you have this kind of shelf or this corner action here that's kind of important what, what booleans do booleans definitely give you a shortcut for getting certain shapes but you definitely will have some cleanup afterwards unless you really line up your geometry ahead of time and a lot of the times you're not able to line it up perfectly. So just keep in mind that after a boolean has happened, you typically will have some cleanup that's necessary after the fact. I'm just going to stick this in even further just to demonstrate that. Okay, so union. If I select my two polygon objects, and this, again this is under mesh booleans, union, I'll just click it over here, union. What happens is, is it takes the two objects and merges them together. Now this is different from combine. Actually let me just go undo the, the union. Let me duplicate these two so we can have show the uh, difference between the two options. So mesh combine which we've gone over before. If you click this little picture down here you can go look at my combine video. But again just real quickly I'll select these two over here and go mesh combine which combines them together and then these two I'll use the union boolean so there's no big difference you can if you're really eagle-eyed in the video you can see a slight difference but if I hit the 4 key to bring up wireframe you can definitely see the big difference the combine operation while it combined the two objects into a single polygonal node it doesn't actually merge them physically while the union boolean operation you can see that the sphere where it intersected the volume of the cube has been erased and they have been combined together and are one object in that sense they're actually fused together physically 
with the Union Boolean operation. With polygon with uh, mesh combine, they're combined together into one object, but not physically fused together on a geometry sense. So when I was talking about when it comes to cleanup, if I zoom in here where the intersection had happened and open up my vertices or display my vertices, you can see that, for example, this is what you call an ingon instead of a polygon. Ingon, which is a multiple sided uh, face, instead of being four sided like this square face here, or three sided like it's typical in games or something, this is a multi, multi sided face here. And depending on what you're using this object for, if it's exporting to a game engine, for instance, Depending on the engine, this face might have rendering errors because of the multiple edges. So you might have to come in here and kind of divide this face up like so and make four-sided faces. And then down here, you can see how these little triangles appear down here, which you know might give uh, your model an, an unclean look. And so it'll just be up to you with your mesh and going in and cleaning it up however you see fit. So let me undo all of that and we'll look at the next boolean operation. So the next one is difference. The way difference works is it subtracts the second object from the first. So depending on which object you select in what order is how this object, how this uh, boolean operation works. So I select my cube first, hold shift, select my sphere and choose difference you can see that the volume of the sphere has been carved into the cube if I undo that and select my sphere first shift select my cube and difference the volume of the cube has been carved into the sphere that's pretty self-explanatory and very useful for lots of different things uh, creating little rivets and such on objects uh, it can be very easy and simple with use, just using simple shapes and carving them out of others. That's pretty pretty simple uh, difference operation. It's just depending on which object you select first is the one that remains after the difference has taken place. And then intersection takes the volume of both objects where they intersect and subtracts the rest of the object. So if I select the cube, shift select the sphere, it doesn't really matter what order, intersection. You can see that only where the sphere and cube were intersecting, that volume has remained while the rest of the objects are gone. And that's the gist of it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is everything does have history. And you can, if I open my outliner, if I go to Window, Outliner, we look in our list here we can see these two history objects from the from the original cube and sphere and then polysurface one which is the new object that has been created thanks to the uh, intersection boolean operation but because we have history still active I can select P cube one and actually move it and it will change the volume from uh, where it was originally. If I select the sphere and move it, and you can see I get some rendering errors based on where exactly these things are positioned with each other. So just keep that in mind that sometimes you'll get in a situation where the math doesn't really work. And that might be where the new algorithm in Maya 2015 comes in. It might be improved and you don't get these errors as much. Hopefully that's the case. But in any case, because of history, you can go back and change the positions of your original two objects and modify the resulting object. And that works for the other operations as well. If I undo all of that, and again go back and do a union, I have my new object, but I still have my history objects that I can move and change the shape from how the union resulted. So I can move my cube over here for instance and down to get a different result. Undo that.
and do a difference. Again, I can select my sphere and I can change how this difference results. And again, I get these little errors every so often depending on how the math works out. And you don't want to keep that, of course. So just move them until you get to a spot that Maya likes. And again, hopefully with the new algorithm in 2015, this won't be as big an issue. So it's not liking any of that. Let's go down. There we go. Like so. And then once you delete history, if you go to edit, delete by type history, you'll see in my outliner, those two history objects are gone. And you just have the resulting shape that's left. Which you can then modify however you want. So let's go back into those options before mesh, booleans, it doesn't matter which union options. The same option is for all three. We have preserve color. All this is is if you have vertex colors applied to your objects, let me actually undo to my original two. If I ha paint some vertex colors onto my sphere, for example, if we go to color, paint vertex color tool, select that, and then I'll just, doesn't really matter, I'll just paint on some black, like so. So I, this is assigning colors to vertexes, it's not using textures. But now that I have that, if I select my sphere first, shift select my cubes, I'm going to do a uh, difference. Let's go to mesh, booleans, difference. Let me actually open up the options. So you see I have preserve color unchecked. So whenever I select my sphere now and go to color, paint vertex color tool and click on it, you see the original color I had before is gone. Let me undo. You can see my original color here now, and check it now. And make sure I select my sphere first. Shift select my cube. Preserve color is checked. I hit apply. At first, it'll go away. But that's expected. If I select my sphere and go to color, paint vertex color tool, and then you can see now it comes back. So preserving the color only preserves vertex colors. It should be more specific. It may be in my 2015, it is now, I couldn't tell you. But, uh, and the other option is in 2015, use legacy algorithm. And again, that's only if you want to use the algorithm that I'm actually using here uh, and not use the new algorithm that's been developed for my 2015. I really hope to get 2015 soon, <laughs> just so I can keep up to date. And over here in the channel box, you can see that. I have polybool op one, which you know is polyboolean operation one. You can actually change the operation here on the fly. If I go from difference to union, it'll change or to intersection. So you don't have to keep doing it over and over again. You can go over over here in the channel box and just change it here. And preserve color there is on and off. And then face area threshold, you can adjust these values and kind of see what you get. It's kind of iffy. You can see there, I just. You know, it's, I don't really recommend using these too much. I don't really see, I should say, a lot of uh, use for them. The face area threshold and vertex distance threshold. I can adjust these values and you can kind of see some changes happen. Feel free to play with these and see what you think. Maybe it's useful for your situation. I haven't found much use for them. And you, again, you have use thresholds on. If I turn this off, these two values won't have any uh, effect anymore. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all you need to know about Booleans. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. If you have any questions, any more requests, definitely let me know. Uh, keep the requests coming in. I really appreciate them. Thanks for watching.